Hey, I hope everyone is going well. Today I wanted to tell you about 7 healthy habits that I decided to give up. As you may know, I have a holistic approach to health, so I like to see it from the diet part, from the moving exercise part, sustainability, as well as mindfulness, self-care. So all the habits I'm gonna mention are all around those four um, pillars, I would say, about health. If you're doing one of them, I don't want you to freak out and I don't want you to stop doing it. They are healthy habits to have. It's just that I personally decided to give up on them and I'll tell you why and hopefully you can see that it's not because something is healthy that it's something that is good for you. So let's get right into this video. The first thing I gave up is what gave me the idea for this video as I was waking up the other day. It was 9.30 and I realized that maybe one or two years ago I would have felt so stressed and so anxious waking up that late. So you guessed it, the first habit that I gave up is waking up early all the time. So I have quite a few reasons why I decided to allow myself some sleep ins. First of all, sometimes I'm really exhausted. Sleeping in is just much healthier than waking up at 6am. The second thing is I used to wake up super early when I lived in Tahiti because we're waking up with the sun, we're living with the sun, but in Europe it's dark until 7.30 or 8 or 8.30 in the morning in winter. It just doesn't feel right for me to wake up at 5 when it's super dark and there's no one. It doesn't feel aligned with the environment. That's another thing. I am not the happiest human being living in Paris. I miss nature so much, I miss Tahiti so much, and the reason why I'm staying in Paris is mainly for work, but also because I find some really good friends here. And I don't know, like, I just want to live in the same rhythm as them. If I would wake up super early, I would never be available at night. It just breaks the rhythm, breaks the friendships of like living in a different time zone almost. That doesn't mean that I'm not a morning person anymore because I'm definitely more predictive in the morning and I like to get things done in the morning. But sometimes I just allow myself to sleep in and that feels really amazing, honestly. <laughs> The second habit I decided to give up is oil pulling. Maybe you've never heard of this. It was sort of a trend in like 2015, 2016. It's actually a very ancient practice. It's an Ayurvedic practice. A lot of people in India really believe in this and they do it daily, I believe. So it's the fact of swallowing, not swallowing, <laughs> swooshing some oil in your mouth for about 15 or 20 minutes. Usually it's made with coconut oil, but it can be done with any type of oil. And what it does, or what it says it does, it pulls out all the toxin of your mouth as well as of your body. I don't know to what extent this is true. And you kind of like swoosh it from side to side about 15 and 20 minutes. I used to do it maybe once a week for about six to seven months, I believe. I was very dedicated to it. It says to improve your mouth hygiene and your teeth are whitened and stuff. Honestly, I didn't really see such a difference. So it's something that I was putting a lot of effort to and I didn't see any benefit really to myself. But I know that some people have really amazing results. So I don't know, maybe tell me if you've tried it. Have you seen any difference in your teeth, in your mouth? The third habit that I decided to give up, and please don't jump at me in the comments, is to not drink alcohol anymore. So I decided to give up not drinking alcohol, so I do drink alcohol. <laughs> so I had a period in my life where I drank a lot of alcohol and then I was really over it and I was like, gonna get myself together, just gonna be really healthy. I focused on diet, on exercise, everything, and I did not want to touch any drop of alcohol anymore. And that was until like really recently, honestly, maybe one or two years ago. And I am not drinking every week or even every month. And I never drink until I'm sick. The opinion that I have on alcohol, which is that is a poison, did not change. It's really something that your body is fighting when you're ingurgitating it. Ingurgitating it? Yeah, following it. But once in a while when I'm with friends, it's nice to like open a bottle together and just enjoying the moment. Honestly, I do like a glass of champagne or like red wine or white wine once in a while or like a really nice cocktail. And yes, it's gonna have a negative impact on my body and I know it that I won't feel optimal the next day. But it's not because I drink it once that it's gonna like make my life totally unhealthy. <laughs> The fourth habit happens in the kitchen and it is to stop giving myself such a hard time to cook 
everything homemade. I think this would surprise a lot of you because I'm sharing really healthy recipes with you on Instagram, on here, and I'm trying my best to share this message that everything can be done homemade and everything can taste good, be cheaper, and be healthier homemade, and I do believe in this, but I have allowed myself to have a few things that I buy already made, basically because it saves me so much time. I cook all my meals by myself, for myself, and sometimes I just don't have time to do everything that I would love to things like plant milks or hummus sometimes or veggie patties things like tofu marinated or like vegan cheese I don't think it has such an impact on my health to have those kind of food here and there once in a while I'm very aware though of what I buy pre-packed and I'm trying my best to take the healthier alternative it's just to allow myself more time to do everything else in my life <laughs> fifth habit that I gave up on is putting coconut oil in my hair every week. So my hair is really really thin, it breaks really easily and I was told to like put oil in my hair every week and leave it for three to four hours and every time I did that I had to shampoo like four or five times to really get rid of the oil. I found that the shampoo was even more aggressive to my hair, it was just not good for the environment, for the fact that I was like literally emptying my shampoo bottle every time. I just think that my hair type doesn't like to have oil on it so much so what I do now if my hair is really really damaged first of all I cut it and secondly I prefer like a mask or something more watery in the shower and then I rinse off because I do protect my my hair with oil but I rather use something like jojoba oil I feel it penetrates more in the hair the only time that I wear coconut oil is when I go to the sea in salt water but I just think that coconut oil just doesn't work for everyone and yeah I just tried and tried and tried and tried all the time but yeah that's just not a habit that worked for me Gewohnheit number six lemon water in the morning or all those sort of healthy morning drinks I picked up this habit because I saw it so many times on YouTube, on blogs, on everything. Like lemon water, lemon water is like the healthiest thing in the morning, gives you a glow. It never gave me that glow. Where's that glow? The reason why I stopped is basically because it was too much effort for not a single result, honestly. I do drink a lot of water in the morning as I wake up, but I just have like warm water and that's it. And I find like it has the same effect that when I was drinking lemon water and yes it tastes great but I don't have any issues drinking water so I just gave up on lemon water the seventh habit that I decided to give up and you wouldn't be surprised if you follow me already and you know that I decided to not go to the gym anymore I used to be a real gym junkie like I used to go to the gym daily 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 for maybe two and a half years and then at some point when I moved to Paris the gym didn't really appeal to me anymore they're really old and I know that it's so stupid to kind of care about that kind of thing but it just didn't make me want to go anymore they were super pricey for what they wear and also the hours they were opening were like 8 a.m. I mean who had time to go to the gym at 8 a.m. like you need to work at 8 a.m. Um, and then like maybe 9 or 10 p.m. yeah it was just not working for me and honestly already an exercise to live in Paris because you're walking everywhere and you're taking the stairs everywhere I'm walking like 10 kilometers a day not joking not even trying then I started running again I like to run in nature and I really need that um, living in a city and yeah I just think that I lost a bit the I don't know the pleasure of going to the gym and having like really draining session on my body sometimes I do have those sessions but at home and I have equipment here maybe one day I'll go again and I'll have like the push to go and I'll have the the happiness to go again but right now it's just not working I'm doing a lot of things on the side it doesn't mean that I don't lift weight or I do resistance training because I do believe in the power of weight training for health and for any other, I don't know, goals that you have. But yeah, I'm not like too fussy about heavy, heavy weights. Anyways, I can't do them anymore because I got like hernias in my back and they're just not as healthy for me anymore. But yeah, I just thought I would share that with you because I used to be really frustrated when I didn't have a, me a gym membership. And honestly, it's not because you don't go to the gym or you can't afford to go to a gym or you don't have a gym in your area that you can't 
be healthy or exercise or reach your fitness goals because that's really not true. The reason why I did this video is I wanted to show you that healthy living is not perfect living. It's not about doing everything that is healthy. <laughs> you know, like if we were doing this, I don't know, we wouldn't have a life. Healthy living for me is doing small habits every day that benefits your life, benefits your work, benefits your friendships and your relationships and makes you a happier person. It is not habit that prevents you from living. It's not habits that you just don't like doing. It's really habit that you find resonate with you and that really make you a better person and that really have a positive impact on you. If you're doing something just because everyone else is doing it but you don't feel any benefit from it, just ask yourself, why am I really doing this? That being said, it's not because something is not working right away that you need to give up on it. Healthy habits or habits in general, they take time to implement, to stick to it. First of all, you're gonna fight <laughs> to really like make time for that new habit in your life if you want that habit to happen. So just give yourself time and see after a few weeks if that is really something that makes a better uh, positive impact on your life or if it's really something that you could give up. And I would actually love to know what healthy habits you have tried and that you also decided to give up and did you give up because you couldn't stick to it or because you actually felt like it wasn't healthy and it wasn't making you happy anymore I think we all have like something to learn from each other so I would love if you can put your little comment below and tell me about your healthy lifestyle and yeah I can't wait to read you and I really hope that this video was helpful if you like don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I hope to see you next time